Hi, I'm Anne, your virtual success advocate from Zaptist. Zaptist is a leading free and enterprise software test automation and RPA tool. Some of the many features include computer vision technology, up to 10 times more return on investment, one script implementation, one script cross-platform, one-click document conversion, unlimited licenses, any task automation, full-time Zaptist expert, cross-application, cloud device hosting management, and much more. To use the Zaptist free edition, check out our website, zaptist.com. So, without further ado, let's dig into software automation topics. Software test automation describes any process that involves the use of separate software tools to test developing software. These tools use scripted sequences to review and validate products with significantly less human intervention than traditional testing techniques. Automated software testing reduces the time to market and provides higher efficiency to product tests. The next question that pops up is what is a manual test and what you need to know about it? The manual test describes human-driven tests for defects on a software product. These tests provide information to project stakeholders concerning product quality. Generally, the tester acts as the end user and uses the features to determine if it functions correctly. Manual testing can drive up the monetary and labor costs of tests better suited for automation. However, investigations require opinions and random inputs, so most products need a combination of automated and manual testing to ensure that they are ready for market. I know it is getting intriguing, so now let's figure out what a unit testing is. Unit testing is a process that involves the isolation of one component of your product. You then run tests on this unit to locate any defects. Performing it early on can reduce time to market as it spots any errors before the first draft gets completed. When creating a large application, developers will automate the unit test to save time. Pretty nifty. If you want to learn more about it, check out the link to the unit testing for beginners video guide in the description. As I mentioned earlier, most products need a combination of automated and manual tests before their go-to-market journey. So now let's learn what is the difference between software test automation and manual tests. Both automated and manual tests have the tester check functionality of the software. However, the manual test has a human tester while software test automation uses automation tools. Manual testing requires hands-on work from quality assurance analysts and engineers who create and execute test cases for the application. Meanwhile, automated testing solutions take less time to perform each test by being highly efficient and providing greater test coverage. However, they cannot always handle complex investigations. So what team are you in? Software test automation or manual test? Leave a comment. Unit testing is usually automated, but not always. When used on large applications, it can be too expensive and time consuming to unit test manually. Seeing as many companies have massive applications, they need automated unit testing to deliver updates promptly. However, smaller products may get away with manual testing due to the reduced labor requirements. All in all, unit testing can benefit from software test automation. Nevertheless, not all automated software testing is unit testing and vice versa. Now about the numerous advantages of using automated software testing technologies such as improved testing efficiency, continuity, reduced operational costs, maximized test coverage, fast feedback, increased ROI, improved scalability, easily executed tests. If by now you have any inquiries or are considering learning more about Zaptist, drop a message on the website at the red widget and we would be pleased to help you along the way. Make sure to comment and share this video with your peers and colleagues. By seeing your interest we'd be making more videos like this, making hard topics easily digestible. Thank you for watching.